Oh, on the oh, slow, on the snow, trying to slow down and stop. It burned forever. But, um, so you've had that bad experience. You had the bad experience up at Mount Hood on the luge thing. You went <laughs> shooting off. Oh, Maybe. God. I forgot that about that. Yeah, you know what? That's because I have fun, and then it just goes awry. It goes too far. <laughs> We've got to point out this rainbow. rainbow. I keep yes, seeing it behind look us. Look how beautiful so it is. Pretty. I just tweeted a picture of it out. This is from our tower camera. It's gorgeous. Let's go find that pot of gold, Jennifer. <laughs> okay. I'm with you. <laughs> I'll split it with you. I don't get to go? Why, <laughs> no, wait, wait no. This is a girls only trip. Hmm. <laughs> Poor Dan, we always leave him out. But yeah, look at that beautiful shot. It is nice and bright, very vibrant. I don't think this is probably one of the most vibrant rainbows that I have seen from our tower camera. Uh, can you imagine in real life looking at this out your window? Just gorgeous. You can see those bright bands again. Uh, going in the rainbow order there. So that's a live picture out there. And speaking of rainbows, let's talk about the rain because we earned that rainbow. Record rain yesterday. And for some of us, the most rain we have ever seen in the month of February. On record, Newport picked up 4.44 inches. That was a record for you. 2.49 inches downtown. We had 2.19 inches at the airport in Portland. And again, that was the wettest day on record for the month of February, going back to 1941. McMinnville, we had 2.5 inches there, and then Salem, 2.4 inches. So many of us, anywhere from two and a half to almost three inches in some places, and over four inches in Newport. So I think we earned this beautiful view, and it's just getting more and more spectacular out there. 42 degrees out right now. Winds are coming in from the northwest at 8. It feels like it's 37, so it does still feel pretty chilly. Uh, if that picture wasn't pretty enough for you, uh, here's another gorgeous shot from our Chinook Winds uh, casino camera here. You can go online to coin.com, and you have access access to these uh, cameras under the weather tab if you ever want to look. Uh, such beautiful views around here. Uh, right now still dodging some showers, so in between the rainbows and the sunshine, still some downpours coming down. Here's a look at the radar between Wilsonville and Tigard, back towards Clackamas, some downpours, heavy showers there. We may even see a few wet flakes of snow mix in from time to time, but overall just really heavy rain. Uh, this shower now moving east out of Lake Oswego, again towards Clackamas and Happy Valley. Up to the north, up near Goble, Longview. We've had some showers roll through there, back towards Klatskanai. Uh, you start to get closer to the higher terrain, and it's coming down a snow still. Astoria picked up four inches of snow from the system, and you can see more showers coming on in, but these are in the form of rain. You have to get up in elevation for that changeover into snow, and there's even a little bit of thunder out there off the coast, so we're watching for, uh, again, downpours as we head through the evening. Showers will continue through 8 p.m. for us here in the metro area. It does quiet down a little more, but still can't rule out a few more stray showers overnight. Temperatures in the mid-30s, and we'll see a low of 33 tonight. Showers at times. It'll be cold, mainly liquid, and no accumulation of snow if you do see any flakes mixed in with the rain. Uh, this afternoon, you can see showers heading to the east. We're going to see a lot more snow come down the Cascades. And then the next round of showers moves in from the south tomorrow. Quite a bit of snow in central and eastern Oregon out of this. For us, we'll see a few occasional showers in the valley, but it really just stays focused there on the Cascades. We get to Wednesday. Wednesday's looking wetter for us. It starts Tuesday night, another round of rain on Wednesday, and we could see showers heavily, heavy at times. So your forecast for the coast, a few showers, mostly cloudy, uh, highs in the mid-40s for the valley, a few stray showers, chilly, more rain by Wednesday, central and east, snow showers, we could see three to six inches or more, and the same thing for the Cascades, three inches or more tonight just in government camp, and then we could see six inches by the time we wrap things up tomorrow afternoon with more on the way tomorrow night for the gorge. Uh, we'll see a mix of snow and rain, but no accumulation, just a little too mild for that. Seven-day forecast, low 40s and wet at times for the next few days. We go back up to the 50s Thursday. It looks much nicer this weekend with some sunshine, and we're drying things out. So definitely looking forward to the weekend. Right, and nice right now at this it moment. It is. It is beautiful <laughs> out there moment. right now. That rainbow is still going strong. Still there. Yeah. Thanks, Kristen. And stay with us.